64 or 32 bit. Right click this PC, Properties. Under System, look whether it's 64 or 32. In this case, it's 64 bit. Now, head over to the Microsoft Downloads section of Windows 10 and download accordingly. Now, this will download a tool. Once that tool is downloaded, again, you would have to run that executable. There it is. Run and let's start. Now here, select create installation media for another PC, even though you're using it for this one. And click on next. Select the language, edition, and our architecture. And now select the 64-bit on their architecture. Click next. And here select USB flash drive is already pre-selected. Now once I click on next, it should automatically detect that USB drive. But I didn't have it connected. Once connected, all I need to do is refresh and it'll auto detect my removable drive, which is drive F, has no label. It's already selected, so click on next to start creating a Windows 10 installation USB drive. Now I'm going to fast forward this process. Perfect. My USB flash drive is ready. Now all we need to do is change the boot sequence in the BIOS to be able to boot from that USB drive. Now when you boot the PC, you'll look for something like this, F2 setup or F12 boot menu. If you select boot, uh, boot menu, all you need to do is select the USB drive from the list. Now if you select setup, which is the BIOS, you will look for something like this. Now this is an old BIOS. Yours might be a lot different. Now look for the boot section and pretending that removable drive is my USB drive, we'll just have to follow the instructions in the bottom to make the removable drive or USB drive the first boot device. And again, save the settings by following the instructions. Once you save those settings, the computer will restart and it will boot from that USB drive. From here, just follow the on-screen instructions. Select Time, Language and Keyboard, Next, Install Now, Uh, add the key if you have it. I don't have it. I'm just going to skip this step. Access, ac accept the license terms. Now here select custom install Windows only advanced. And this is how it looks if you have previously an operating system installed. System Reserve and Drive 0 Partition 2. So we're going to delete them both. That's why you need a backup. So make sure it's selected and click on Delete. OK to confirm. And do the same with System Reserved. Now, if you are installing on a brand new drive, this is how it would look. A single unallocated space. Now make sure it's selected and click on Next. By clicking on Next, Windows will automatically format and install Windows 10. Windows cannot be installed on an unformatted drive. Now this process can take a while. I'm going to fast forward the process here too. It's going to restart several times. If it asks you to boot, to press any key to boot from CD, DVD, 
do not press any key. Now again, I'm not going to enter the product key, I don't have it, so I'll do this later. And select uh, Use Express Settings. Um, here select I own it. It doesn't belong to any organization. Now here enter your Microsoft email and password if you have one. I don't like to use my email for an operating system so I already do a uh, local account so I'm gonna skip this step here I can enter a uh, local account so I'll use my name I'm not gonna add a password if you you're more than free to uh, create one if you want next Now, installing Windows 10 from a USB is extremely fast. It doesn't take more than five minutes to install Windows from a USB drive. This is also good if you're installing it on a notepad. Now that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.